How to make Indian delicacy called uh, namkeen mati? Uh, for this, we have taken maida, we have taken ajwain, we have taken uh, jeera. No, no jeera, uh, salt only. And now we're going to be heating up uh, some water. And the water has to be lukewarm to ho slightly hot, not to boiling. And in addition to heating up the water, we are also heating up a little bit of oil. Uh, the reason is. First, you, put oil. first you need to put oil uh, hot, hot oil it has to be hot oil and hot not water much hot a little bit hot just so you don't burn yourself basically mm -hmm. and then we will start uh, kneading the dough so you put the hot oil in the dough and circle it around don't uh, concentrate it and be very careful at this point to make sure the oil is not too hot because you can burn yourself so slowly gauge it see if it's uh, doable and start mixing Mix. it and the mixing has to be done in this particular manner that way the oil is mixing properly with the dough and keep on rotating the bowl that way you get all the uh, oil mixed with the dough you can also use ghee but it can be slightly unhealthy so vegetable oil is uh, preferred Come in. Come in. Uh, way to do it but if the oil is less and you're not able to form the dough you need to add more after the oil has been put in, keep on mixing it, keep on kneading the dough. The main re point is to get the oil and flour mixture as uniform as possible and have oil in almost every single granule. And how to tell when the dough is ready is when you are able to uh, clump up the dough and it forms in. And that's, that much oil is sufficient for it to be soft. If it's less than that and it's crumbling through, you need to add more oil. If it's too oily, well, you need to add more flour. And this thing is ready now we're going to be adding uh, water slowly very very slowly and again the water is also warm so be careful and similar to before we're going to be adding the oil in a circular manner that we are adding oil very slowly and don't add all the water at the same time uh, we are using approximately three cups of water but we're going to be uh, eyeballing it to see how much we really need so do not add the entire three cups keep on kneading the dough this is a very laborious process so pace yourself, preferably do it in the morning that way you are not tired. And a quick tip, uh, as you are kneading the dough, if the dough is too much, put it on the side in a separate container and keep on kneading the dough. Once you have done the dough, it should look like this, uh, play dough, hard dough consistency and uh, it should be rather stiff. It took about 10 minutes to get it all um, made up and then all you have to do is make small tiny balls like this using your hand pinch it off uh, use a clean surface we are using a glass countertop uh, it's completely plain so it's not the harsh one all right now the prep is getting forward we did take out the rolling pin we got our uh, station temporary station ready and we are heating up about two liters of oil uh, vegetable oil or canola oil is better because it has a high smoke point that's getting done. Uh, we also have some mustard you can oil. Put, uh, uh, mustard oil. You can, put you can put mustard oil, or if you want, you can put regular any, oil. Any. And just turn them into small uh, flat discs, and put one or two uh, black peppercorn for extra flavor right in the middle. And trust me, it makes a big difference when you fry it. <laughs> and here is the technique. As you can see, you roll it once. You roll it twice just get it in a approximate round shape put one black pepper corn smash it and that's the end result you can put one you can put three the main purpose is to crush the black pepper that's put right in the middle and you put it two and smash and you hear the click sound and that's it it's done and how to test the oil you just take a small dough ball drop it in as soon as it starts lifting up as soon as it drops in Oil is ready at that point, reduce the heat to medium high, that way the oil doesn't start smoking and take that excessive uh, dough and put it onto the side. And now we are going to move to the main step, which is uh, frying it. The other thing is the oil is almost glistening, it's not smoking just yet, but the fan is on, that way we don't have uh, the smoke alarm going off. Alright, the oil is ready and now we are putting it in. And be careful again as you're putting it in. Let it just drop and don't mess around with it. Because if you do, it's going to start breaking up. And as you can see, you're putting three or four of them. We are spreading them out. And they are going to be rotating automatically. Uh, put as many as you can. 
and again the oil right now is slightly hot about 350 and we want to keep it at a medium heat that way it doesn't uh, burn up the thing and once all of them are in uh, don't immediately uh, start messing around with it because it's going to break up but we need to push it in a quick tip if you don't want uh, your mutties to swell up make sure to take a fork and poke holes in it otherwise they are going to start swelling up me personally i prefer the one that is swollen up because they become extra crunchy and crispy and this is the second way of making it which is with the fork again same procedure uh, and again put the holes in it prior to putting the black pepper corn in it that way it doesn't become too holy and just crush it in and it's ready and while you might think that this is ready to be flipped over no this has to this has to be left uh, alone uh, don't mess around with it let the oil do its job and again the gas is at medium high heat right now all right we did flip them over and this is the color that you're looking for and the other indication is the bubbling of the oil around the matthias is going to become really less that will be a good indicator that uh, they are ready to come out of the hot oil shower bath and just take uh, care when you're taking it out just put them on the side let them uh, drain a little bit and with the drop and pick them up again be careful though and then once that's done just put them in a dry paper towel or wire rack whatever you want to do uh, that way the oil can drain out of them and once that's done just put them in an airtight container and they will be able to stay in there uh, for two or three weeks easy without spoiling however majority of the time they're gone <laughs> within a week although they can last up to a month because they have fried and they have oil and they have salt in it so and as always like comment subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and we will get one back